Good morning from a snowy Flagstaff, Arizona. Today is a little bit of a weird day. For the last couple of months since I created this channel, I've kind of been lost. I just go to a city or a place, wander around, see what I can find, and then edit the video and post it. But that changes today. I want to have a goal for this channel, something to work towards. That brings me to 2020. Now, 2020 was difficult for a lot of people and it was a lot more difficult for people other than me. But it helped me realize that life is short. And you never know when you're gonna be able to go do the things that you wanna do. Since I was a kid, I've always had a bucket list. I was one of the very few. These items range from diving the Great Barrier Reef to motorcycling from one end of Vietnam to the other, going on an African safari, all sorts of different things. But today, I'm here because of number 18. See the Grand Canyon with snow. Now, I will be going to the Grand Canyon tomorrow because there's supposed to be two to four inches of snow overnight. I'm gonna wake up very early, get out there before sunrise, hopefully, and see the spectacular image of the Grand Canyon with snow. As for today, I'm kind of just biding my time until tomorrow. There's a place called Walnut Canyon. It's not too far from my hotel room here. I only got about three hours of sleep last night, so I don't want to venture very far, but supposedly this place is really beautiful. And also there's a burger place called Mama's Burgers. And I'm gonna go check both those places out today. Good afternoon from a very windy Walnut Canyon. I just spoke with one of the workers here and he said that there are two trails that I could take. One is the Rim Trail and the other is the Canyon Trail. So I think I'm gonna take the Rim Trail first to see if I can get some good pictures and then see if I have enough time to take the Canyon Trail, which actually leads to some of the cliff dwellings that the Native Americans left here, which is something I've always wanted to see. He did say it's a little bit more physically demanding, but it's only about a mile in length. I have to say, that view is gorgeous. Through this canyon runs Walnut Creek. I guess that's where they got the term Walnut Trail from. The Native Americans, since the water was not running year round, would store the water in ceramic jars. And that's where we get these ceramic jars that we find from Native American ar archeological sites and everything. I'm gonna walk a little further down the rim trail and then I'm gonna actually head into the canyon trail because I wanna see some of these ruins. I am descending into the island trail right now. Now, I know that I've been calling it the canyon trail, but it's actually called the island trail. Caution, are you prepared? Know your limits. Am I prepared? No. Do I know my limits? No. Am I gonna keep going? Yeah. Should I keep going? Probably not. That guy was not kidding. There are definitely a lot of stairs here. I have a feeling that I'm going to regret going down here in a little bit when I have to come back up. Meh. I think that I've come to my first cliff dwelling. Yeah, it's my first cliff dwelling. I'm now standing in a Native American cliff dwelling. This wall behind me was built by Native American women in ancient times. And all along the cliff in front of me, there's even more Native American cliff dwellings. There's more cliff dwellings ahead but absolutely fascinating. I love it. 
just when you think you're done with the stairs, there's more stairs. So this cliff dwelling behind me was built for a family and above it is a drainage system for the snow melt that used to run into the house. And this also had a fireplace because you can see the markings where the rock has been scorched. So there are cliff dwellings all through this canyon and they all have that cliff overhang so that the snow melt can get drained into the dwelling so they have drinking water. I'm honestly surprised how sophisticated these dwellings are. So now I know why it's called the Island Trail because it's literally an island in the middle of the canyon. The more you know. I think that this is my last dwelling here. Now for the unpleasant part. The 720 steps back up. I just made it back up from the Island Trail here at Walnut Canyon and I met this great volunteer named Bill really nice guy. He explained a lot of things to me, answered a lot of my questions. He explained that the people here are believed to inhabited this area sometime before 1250, which is when they migrated, and after 1000 BCE. If you guys are ever in Flagstaff, definitely come check out Walnut Canyon. I'll put a link in the description below. I'm heading to Big Mama's Burger next. See everybody there. I am in the line for Mama Burger right now. I'm not doing very good with names today. This place is actually called Mama Burger, not Big Mama Burger. <laughs> but one thing is for certain, it is packed. This line goes down the block. I just ordered and I've been in line for about 10, 15 minutes. Usually it's a pretty good thing when places are this packed because it means that the food is pretty good. I ordered a create your own burger, which I'll cut to right now. Tell me, was that good? Because I haven't seen it yet, so. Tell me if it's good. You guys will find out in a few seconds. It's gonna take me a few minutes. So it is far too cold to go outside and eat and I'm pretty far from my hotel right now. So I'm actually eating just outside of a school. This burger looks absolutely amazing. I got barbecue sauce, bacon, french fries, and extra cheese. It looks absolutely delicious. I'm going to dig in here. I'll be able to tell my past self whether this was good or not. That is really good. Definitely extra cheese worth it. You can see the cheese oozing out there. It's french fries. Spot on. Delicious. Milkshake I got. Really good too. All right, I see you mama burger. Alrighty, I'm gonna finish up this burger. It is absolutely delicious. If you're ever in Flagstaff, definitely check out mama burger. I'm gonna put a link in the description below and I'm heading to bed after this because I have to be up super early for tomorrow. So if you like what you saw, like, comment, subscribe, please. It really does help the channel out. And I'll see everybody at the Grand Canyon tomorrow. Just had to do a 360 before I turned on the gimbal. No big deal. Now for the unpleasant part. Now for the unpleasant part. Uh, seven hundred. All right, I just made it up from the island trail here at Walnut Creek Canyon. It's a canyon. <laughs> All right, I just made it back up from the island trail here at Walnut Canyon, and I met a great volunteer named Bill. Very nice guy. He explained a lot of the questions that I had to me. Yeah.